Hello, this is Mrs. Hyman. Prove that if segment WY is congruent to segment XZ, then segment WX is congruent to segment YZ. Given segment WY is congruent to segment XZ. Prove segment WX is congruent to segment YZ. Let's first take a look at the segment that we have drawn and what we know is we have this segment W Y that is congruent it says to segment X Z so we're going to use that and we're going to prove that segment W X right here is congruent to segment Y Z right here. Okay, so we'll have our statements here. And then we have to have reasons. So those reasons will go over here on the right. Okay, our first statement is going to be just what we are given, and that is that segment WY is congruent to segment XZ. And our reason is it is given. Okay, our second statement then, since we know that those two segments are congruent, then that means that the length of WY is equal to the length of XZ. And the reason for that is by definition, of congruence. Okay, now since we have to prove that this short segment here is congruent to this short segment on the right side, what we're going to do is kind of break up these other segments that we have. So in our third statement, we're going to think about segment WY as two pieces, and so that is WY is equal to WX plus XY, and also that XZ, this longer segment, is equal to X, Y, plus Y, Z. And we can say that using the segment addition postulate. Okay, so now our next statement Since we know that WY equals XZ, and we have these pieces, these two pieces equal WY, these two pieces equal to XZ, we're going to use substitution, and we're going to say that WX plus XY, which was the same as WY, is equal to XY plus YZ. Again, the same as XZ, and that is by substitution. Okay. Now, we're going to use some subtraction. We're going to take W, X, plus X, Y, subtract from that X, Y, and do the same on the right side of the equation. We have X, Y, 
we're going to subtract x, y, and we have plus y, z. And we can do that by the subtraction property of equality. If we subtract something on one side, we have to keep it equal to the other. Okay, our next statement, number six, if we actually do the subtraction, xy minus xy leaves us with zero, so on the left side of our equation we have wx, and on the right side xy minus xy, so those are gone, we're left just with yz. So that's just merely subtracting. So we're almost there. We'll have one more statement. Since we have the length of wx is equal to the length of yz, that means that segment wx would be congruent to segment yz. And again, that's by the definition of congruence. So we did prove that segment WX is congruent to segment YZ.